Good afternoon. Today is Friday, December 26, 2014, and by this point, I am sure if you're following Sandy Hook, you are aware that there is a lawsuit filed in federal court uh, against major media companies. Now, I happen to be on sandyhookfacts.com, which is actually a blog spot, so it's a Google site, sandyhookanalysis.blogspot.com, uh, much like my site, which is flashnewsnetwork.com, but it goes to it's attached to a Google site. Anyway, um, I bring that up because as I'm going through here, uh, I've never really hung out on this site before, and he's got countless articles. Don't know who's running this website, and I don't care, and I'm not going to be researching it. I did ask, however, who's running it in the comments, which you'll see in a second, um, because this website appears to bash anybody that, that goes against the official narrative. So. I'm guessing at this point it's a site designed to uh, attack anybody that they consider hoaxers or truthers. Um, I did notice right away that the images of the lawsuit that were filed are watermarked clearly sandyhookfacts.com. I find that to be interesting because Google, YouTube, etc. have a very strict copyright policy and I'm just curious how a blog spot like this uh, comes into hand of court documents which are basically obtained through the electronic recording system of the federal courts uh, and that's for official use only so either the person who runs this site has an official use to the system and or just obtain them somehow and watermark them as their own so I'm not sure what that's about anyway the, the goes this article it's not even really an article, it's more or less just saying uh, that it was done pro se, which meaning the person is filing these, uh, the complaint, which would be William Sh uh, Shanley, is it? Yeah, William Shanley, William Brandon Shanley is filing pro se, meaning on his own without uh, legal counsel. Uh, and because of that, he's also filing, waiving, looking to waive the fees, so... Uh, Whoever wrote this is calling him a pauper. I don't know his financial status. Don't know anything about the guy. And I don't know. Um, I might leave a link to the site. I just I showed it to you up here. But just so you see on the bottom, I, if I ever get to the bottom, yeah, down here, I asked three questions. And I'm just making this known that should my channel or my account get pulled, and if this channel if the blog spot that I'm on right now happens to be attached to anybody that was pulling down channels before you will know why so just a heads up I did ask three questions the same ones I just kind of went over and that's about it right now I'm gonna be trying to dig up these documents for myself I won't touch the watermarked ones because I don't know who owns them and who doesn't at this point um, I'm thinking they're public record, but I wouldn't, I myself, I wouldn't be watermarking uh, documents from the uh, United States District, District Court, especially if it came through the electronic, electronic uh, recording system. So, not sure who does this site, but I'm going to be looking into it. There's a lot of Sandy Hook stuff on the right uh, about Halbig and stuff, which we do already know now that Halbig actually did go through his FOIA um, request, and the hearing is set for what I think within six weeks. If we were following, if you were following up north of the 49th and uh, Max Revolution, uh, you heard that testimony come in. So, just a heads up on this one, and if I get more on the actual Shanley documents, I'll let you know.